this is Mohamed Fukan. Today we will try to make a 0 to 360 degree servo motor using the stepper. Uh, I need this servo motor because of my project which is antenna tracking system. In the horizontal movement mechanism I need these types of servo motors. Uh, I begin with a servo motor just moving 0 to 180 degree servos but it's not useful for me. If I use the gears to make this 0 to 360 degree, but there is some limitation about the servos because of I want to go, for example, 10 degree to 350 degree. If I use the servo motors, I my next uh, ang angle is 380 degree or 50 degree. It goes this long way, and at this point. It can be the loss of my datas uh, because of I'm try to uh, track uh, unmanned air vehicle. For this reason, I want to develop the, my own uh, servo motor. If you broke the pins of the servo motors, because of if you search in the internet about the 0 360 degree servos, you will find the yes I broke the pins inside the servos, and this is the full rotational servo motors but it's not useful for me because of if you given angles for example 200 degree it's always turning around it for this reason I worked these ones first of all I want to begin with my uh, systems right here I'm using other for its uh, step motor driver board on my Arduino Mega and uh, there are some cooling fans on it, heat sink right here because of the heating, there are heating problem on my integrated circuitry. And then the my cables is something like this because of my Arduino is worked on 12 volts and also my fan is 12 volt, but my stepper is working on the 5 volt. For this reason, I'm uh, right here. This is my 3S battery. I'm applying a 12 volts to Arduino Mega, and there are some pins right here. Input voltage pin right here. These two ones uh, working in on 12 volts, and there are some regulated regulator right here. This is the UBEC circuitry. This is goes to the my board for the stepper. The system is something like this. At the end of this project, I can go, for example, I am on 20 degree, I can go right here, or I can always turning, I, it can be possible using this stepper because of it's just moving step by step, two steps right or two, two steps left. It's all total depend on you, but it's not on have any uh, brain. You should say it about it in my algorithm. Uh, the workings, it's something like this because of it's is for example it's in zero degree. The next degree will be for example ninety degree, and uh, it's calculating to the yes I am right here and the zero position. And I want next uh, angle is 90. This means I can go the left and 90 steps. At this point, at the end of my uh, code, it takes the yes, I'm right here, I'm uh, 90 degree, etc. It's going something like this. At this point, I want to show you how it's working. I'm connecting the battery. And in the code, I'm just this is for testing. I'm just writing the. This is the zero position, and I want to go, for example, 90 degree. Let's look at what's happening. Yes. Right here, it's uh, on the 90 degree. For example, at this point, I want to assign a 350 degree. And 
up, I'm uploading it. Yes. As you can see, it's it can move uh, left or right. It's, it's not about uh, zero position. It can move right or left, and it's try to calculate the shortest way because of if you think about the it's like a servo motors. I'm a 90 degree and I should go to 350 degree. This means you can subtract these two numbers and you will go this long way. Okay, I'm sign different angles. For example, a hundred and eighty degree. What will happen? It goes at this way because of this is shorter way and uh, at this point I want to assign zero degree what will happen yes at this point it is a zero position uh, it's already written in the codes because of the ways is same at this point I think it will be going to the right side of angles the project is something like this we can continue with the codes okay everyone we will continue with the our codes at the beginning of my code I'm including the library which is at the first step of motor driver library after this part the important thing is this number because of this defines my steppers step number for example 0 and 360 degree defines in uh, my stepper as a 0 to 200 degree for this reason I should assign it after this part I'm right here there are two integers right here the first one the x is the next angle the second one x old is a old uh, angle with you. For example, at this part, I'm at zero degree, and next degree will be ninety degree. Uh, we will see in the void loop part, but I want to continue with the void setup. I'm assign a number for the motor speed because if I try it, it's suitable for me. This number. You can change these numbers depending on your step. At the void loop, there are some integers right here, the beginning of my loop. The mutlak means the absolute value really, of the differences between the max angles and the old angle. I'm subtracting it and taking an absolute value of them. After this part, there are four if loop right here at the first one I'm subtracting it and if greater than zero and the absolute value is less than 180 degree do it this one this means uh, if I'm at zero position and next one is 90 degree I'm just subtracting and yes it is greater than zero and the absolute value is less than 180 degree uh, it means the differences between is my uh, movement because of the differences is 90 degree and I'm just writing 5 over 9 because of my steppers steps number 5 means 200 and 9 is 360 degree uh, and forward this is just turning uh, left or right, counterclockwise or clockwise. I'm adding a delay right here for the moment. At this part, at the end of my loop, I'm writing the next one is because of I'm turned it right here. It will be my old value because of if I go to the ninth degree, yes, I'm at the ninth degree. It shows this angle. At the second part, if 
this difference is less than zero and the absolute value is less than 180 degree this means we can go to the uh, right side because of next one is less than uh, the old one at this point I'm just using the absolute value for the turning uh, if you write these quotes and try to own the your stepper you will see what's happening at the third one is the differences between is greater than zero and the absolute value is greater than 180 degree this means we are in for example uh, the turnings is uh, greater than the 180 degree for this reason we are going to the backwards for example we are in 90 degree and our next one is if it is greater than 270 degree we will uh, enter this line after this part uh, old is uh, 90 degree we are uh, we are subtracting the next one is from the 360 degree and we're just writing these number r stepper uh, at the last one if our difference is less than zero and the absolute value is greater than uh, 180 degree at this part we are just uh, writing the next one and there are some subtracting right here 360 degree minus the old value and after this part we are writing these angles to our stepper x old value will be our x we will continue again and again in the void loop the project is something like this uh, and thanks for watching